Hey, what's up, babies and fellas? It's your boy Tess. <laughs> um, I know it's late, about my 1:49, 1 1:50 1 in the morning, but um, I just wanted to record a video today because I have such, such, such a good day today. Well, good evening, actually, because I slept most of the day because I work hard, <laughs> as you guys know. But, um, I just wanted to record a video because, um, I hung out with, um, two of my best, bestest friends. I mean, <laughs> I couldn't ask for more better friends. I really couldn't. And the reason why I say this is because I've known them since I was 16. I've known them for a long time, since I was 16 and I'm 19 now. I've known them for three years. And those three years feel like <laughs> feel like 20 years. It really does. Because, you know, I was talking to um, one of my best friends, Brian. And um, that's one of the guys I hang out with today. And him and Samajay. That's, that's his name, Samajay. It's James, pronounced backwards. Because he goes by Samaj instead of James. Um, me and Brian, we were at Cold Stones in Long Beach by the uh, by the pier. And, um, you know, we were talking and I said, you know what, brother? And see, we don't, we, we don't call each other brother. We don't say brother. We say brother. Meaning, it's spelled B-R-U-D-E-R. -E brother. And I was telling, I said, brother, you know, I've known you and I know you and Samajay for since I was 16, and we never got into it with each other. We never got into it with each other, and you know, I was and I was thinking that later on tonight. I said, you know what? I said to myself, wow, never getting into it with your best friend. That's special because you guys have you you never had anything to argue about. You know, you don't really have disagreements. You joke around a lot. You know. And it's it's great when you do that because it shows that you have a lot of love. Ooh, excuse me. Tired. I'm, I'm tired as well. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm tired. So if you see tears on that, because I just yawn. But no, when you um when you have friends like that, you know it doesn't mean that you're trying to prove to the world, oh everything is perfect. There's nothing going on. And behind closed doors, it's all bad. And so blah 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 blah. No. It just means that, you know, you guys have so much love for each other, and, you know, you don't let anything come between you guys, you know, because, you know, you know what I was saying, boyfriend, girlfriends come and go, but, you know, friendship can really last, you know, relationships come and go, but friendship can last forever, and it's, and it's so hard to find friends nowadays, and it's so hard to trust people, and I always tell myself all the time, you know, I don't trust anybody. But you know what? I do trust people. I trust certain people. I trust my mom. Because I know she would never hurt me. I trust myself. Because I would never disrespect or hurt myself. You know? I trust God. I trust... I trust Brian and Samaji, my two bestest friends. Because they've never hurt me. They've never turned their back on me. They've never shown to me that they cannot be good friends. You know? Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to keep it real. You know, I keep it real. I keeps it real. I'm going to tell you, when I was waiting on Brian, I was texting him. I said, I said, so, where the hell is he? Where is he? You know, I'm like, you said you got off at 6. Where you at? So, he was on his way. He was not going to be late, you know. So, we had fun. We had real fun. And what we did was, um, he picked me up, you know, talked, and, um, he said, where to? I said, well, before I told him, I texted him. I said, I want to go to a sex shop. Now, I know you guys are thinking, why the hell does he want to go to a sex shop? This boy, 19. The reason why I wanted to go to a sex shop was because I never been to one. My mom went to one. I never went to one. And she told me she saw all these little toys and stuff. I said, I want to go to one. But you know what, though? Every sex shop is different. So I went to this one in Long Beach. I cannot remember the name of it for anything. But my Brian, uh, Brian knows. 
Sorry, Brian knows the name of it. I'm going to get it for him. And um, we had went and, uh, excuse me, hold on. I was going to change music. That's all. Sorry, sorry. No, I'm trying to, every time I put a video on there, I want to have like some cool little music. So, you know, uh, so anyway, um, we went to a sex shop and, you know, we went in and I'm like, okay, this is cool. You know, most sex shops, they card you, you know, the guy asks you, you have your ID. So I have mine, of course, because he asked me, do you have your ID? I said, yeah. He's like, okay, which I always do. And uh, we went in. I'm going to tell you what we saw. Because I was just following him. And I never was one. So my eyes just darted forward. So when your eyes dart forward, you know, you don't really po focus to on the left or what's around you. You just focus on what's forward. So went in. And um, we saw. Let me keep this real, okay? So if you got younger people watching this, don't have them watch this. Because this is not for younger people. We saw glass dicks. I saw glass dicks, and I must say, the it was glass, but in the design, they have like little colors and stuff, it was cool, like the little design, you have like little spirals and all this kind of color stuff, and you see little vibrators, you see dildos, you see uncut uh, dildos, meaning you can tell when the dick is uncut, the head is pink, watch uh, Real Sex. Watch real sex. You'll find out. <laughs> anyway, you see black dildos. You see uh, all black dicks that are dildos. Um, you see fake vaginas with the hair. And toy vaginas. And um, you see board games. Uh, massaging oil. Lubricants. Body art. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you about body art. For you guys don't know what body art is, body art is like, um, if you ever, uh, let me see, let me see, okay, body art is like paint, but it's meant for the skin, and you can like do different designs and stuff, so if you watch Soul Food, the first season, there was an episode at the beginning they were doing like a little, uh, sex party not really a sex party but like a little party they have all these toys and stuff so the woman uh the model was you know standing there and it was body art it was cute it's sexy and um they had edible gummy underwear that you can eat and wear but your partner or lover can eat it off of you which is cute dvds girls going wild uh, gay DVDs, uh, like the DVDs with, uh, the young girls, uh, big girls, they have, like, a little carton, you know, sometimes you go to Walmart and you have the, the carton full of DVDs that, like, ain't really selling, so they just give it to you for, like, five bucks, six bucks, they had, like, two cartons full of that, and they had, uh, braziers for the ladies, they have very cute braziers, they're so cute, they were really cute, they have black and red and velvet and blue it was cute and they had the men underwear in the box and they had the magazines let me tell you something these magazines two in one little package 40 damn dollars i said hell no uh-uh no way and god knows how much some dvds were okay but anyway i had a fun time then after that we went um to my other brother my other brother samaja house because we said let's see what our brother's doing so I said, okay. I said, is he home? I thought he was working. Brian said, no, he's home. I said, okay, let's go. So we went over and just kick it for the rest of the time. And um, go on my MySpace and you'll find, you'll see the pictures. I took a picture of Brian when he was asleep. I took a picture of him in the car. Um, took a picture of Samanje, like all in my iPhone. So I had a fun day. I had a fun evening. And again, I want to say to you guys, the message of the whole thing if you didn't really understand it, this is the message. If you have best friends, and you have two best friends, keep them in your life. I mean, really. Keep them close to you. Because there is nothing more important.